Now you're probably wondering what I'm building here. Well, I'm building a cat fence. Actually, I'm continuing to work on my cat fence. Every time the cat outwits me, I uh, figure out a way to stop her from jumping over the fence. And uh, this is the latest creation, PVC pipe. Slot down the middle. Slides right on top of the fence, and that way when she jumps up, her claws can't attach to the top of the fence. She just slides right off. And PVC pipe also works pretty good for this end, too, because she can't get a, a good footing on the PVC pipe. And uh, once again, she'll slide right off. And obviously not able to make a leap from here to there. Now, if we didn't have this pipe, she'd stand right here and jump up there. You may think I have a little bit too much time on my hands, and you could be right. But I just consider this a challenge because I read one time that nobody had ever built a, a fence that was capable of keeping a cat either in or out of a place. Now, of course, you can put a fence across the top, uh, like a zoo or whatever, and yes, you can keep them in that way, but that's more of a cage than actually a fence. So I'm trying to do something that has never been done before. The two cats that I'm trying to seclude in this natural feline habitat are Buddy and Tara, both Abyssinians. Keeping Buddy on this side of the fence hasn't been a challenge for some time now. He weighs over 16 pounds, which is far too heavy for flight. On the other hand, four-year-old Tara is half Abyssinian and half kangaroo. Leaping over any unprotected area of the fence isn't even a challenge to her. Am I mad? Some would think so. There's PVC pipe everywhere in this backyard. And behind the tree, because she's able to climb the tree, I had to do double duty. Two pieces of pipe. Now one of the beauties of the pipe is if she actually manages to jump up on top, she doesn't have very many choices, and I'll show you what I mean. On this side of the pipe, there is obviously not enough room for her to run and on the other side of the pipe there's even less jumping over isn't an option because it's too far down this is 64 inches she's two feet tall this is two and a half times her body length to put this into perspective this is how far I would have to jump to be equivalent to her jumping from that distance Possible? I don't think so. If I were to do that, it would be more like flying than actually jumping. So what makes me think I'll be successful? One thing, look at the size of her head compared to mine. Cats aren't very smart. They have small heads, they have small brains. I will outwit her. Well, I believe that the cat fence is finally finished. I've worked on it off and on for, well, as long as I've had cats here, which would be about seven or eight years. But uh, I think it's time to finally proclaim victory. Um, now I can get some work done. I locked my office door. What's the matter, buddy? <laughs>